the Oxford University shows the stringency index of different countries, meaning the aggressiveness of the measures that they took against the coronavirus. And we can see in this timeline here how they evolved over the days. So in January 1st, obviously no country had any measure. And throughout January, nothing happens. And then we can see around the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, boom, China is starting to take measures. And now they're around 40 plus in the stringency index. And for some time, they remain the only ones with, here we can see Mongolia, Vietnam takes measures very, very quickly, very, very quickly. And then very little happens in February. We can see that by the end of February, we had mostly South Korea and Italy, which had very strong outbreaks that have taken measures. Japan a little bit here, we have Iraq. But Iran, which had a massive outbreak at the time, was not taking measures. They were denying this was a big problem. And we can see now how it continues on the end of February, the beginning of March. Many countries start being aware and having some measures, not very aggressive. But by this time, you now countries are starting to really wake up on March 10th, and this is what we see in the week after March 10th. Boom, 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 boom. The entire world, the 10 days after March 10th, really put aggressive measures, and they keep increasing them. And by March 31st, nearly all of the world has very stringent measures against the coronavirus. You can see a few things interesting here. Around the second half of March, you still have major countries in the world that are not taking strong measures, such as the US, Brazil, Russia, which now have some of the biggest outbreaks in the world. You also have here Sweden, which is famous for having not taken very strong measures. And this continues through April. Most of the world is red with a lot of stringency. The US goes back to uh, reducing some of its stringency relatively early on. And then around the beginning of May, you can see that some Central and Eastern Europe countries are relaxing some of the measures. And by now, by 19th of May, you have a fair amount of relaxing in Scandinavia, in Northern America. But the rest of the world is still under relatively stringent measures.